This is leftovers from breakfast. It's free. We got some eggs, oatmeal, pancakes, and sausages and bacon. And here's a shelter, bear canisters, bear boxes, I guess. And there's the whole eating area. It's a busy campground, so there's always tons of people here. We we're actually shocked how many people were here <laughs> when we got here. We thought we were early, but we're a bunch of slackers. I know, like some people already took off the sobos. Oh, oh yeah, they already took off. <laughs> oh, we're not through hikers at all. Okay, let's get going, Tina. We have 17 miles and like 3,000 feet up, 6,000 feet down or something like that. Yeah. That's a lot of down. Yeah, but it's nice down. Oh, poor feet. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, let's get going. Yesterday was the highest we camped in a long time and I was prepared for it to be really cold. We were camped at just over 4,000 feet. I thought it would get cold, but it was actually not bad at all, all night. But of course, that means today it's been really warm. It's been warm all morning and um, we have this climb coming up. I believe the South Twin Mountain. It's, I think it's like 1,500 feet straight up. And I think I saw it was 1,500 feet per mile or something like that. Something really obnoxiously crazy. I'll put a chart here of uh, what it looks like. And feet per mile will be on the top right corner. But uh, that's going to take a while because it's just been so hot this morning. It's crazy, actually. But right now, we are heading towards, there's a hut right at the base of that mountain. So we're going to go there, probably stop in get a pastry maybe or coffee but it's up and down up and down to get there so still a bunch of work but whew, there's some when they say elevation change here in the whites it's major elevation change major and rocky this is what i'm looking at right now it looks like you just climb down those rocks and you hook left and there's more rocks we have to go up towards the saddle though, so we got some climbs coming. The Galehead Hut is to our right, and the AT continues north. South Twin is only 0.8 miles. Easy, right? Nice and close. Right up there. But I'm gonna meet Tina at the hut, and we're gonna get water there, so to the hut. This is leftovers from breakfast. And it's free. We got some eggs, oatmeal, pancakes, and sausages and bacon. Where's mm. the bacon? The rumors are right. They are a little <laughs> what? black. And now we say goodbye to the hut. It's funny, every time you go to a faucet for water, like I always feel like, is it going to work? Is it work? There's like the worry that it may not work, although we knew it was going to work anyway. And there's just this sense of relief when the water starts coming. And you're like, ah. Oh. I guess that doesn't happen in a normal world. Like, you're always worried when you turn the sink on if it's gonna come out or not, but it's begun. What's funny is Tina just mentioned, someone told us after Mount Zealand, everything is much easier, but it's only, it's like less than two miles from where we are. It's just a steep up and a steep down to get there and then another steep up. But man, this one's gonna be the steep one though. Tina was talking to a couple of strangers. I was wondering who it was. But then I saw the white hyperlights. And I was like, I think it's Miss Happy Amethyst. <laughs> sure was. If you don't know, folks, they're Sobo right now. And they have a YouTube channel as well. So you should check them out. And uh, how many miles are you into it right now? Um, we're just over, over 350. Yeah, yeah. just Three, over 350. 350. Got a while to go. So once I'm done, you guys can watch them because they'll be at it for months more months. We got months to go yeah. <laughs> months to go <laughs> and then you can watch them for their fall colors as well because they'll probably see that yeah, that'd be really cool fall colors. we've had an amazing time so far it has just been absolutely phenomenal southern maine is tough but oh gosh it has been gorgeous absolutely gorgeous good so that's good we got a lot of gorgeous views coming up for you guys in the next yeah. few days across the presidentials oh. yep good stuff <laughs> that way too is quite beautiful yeah so yeah they got a long way to go <laughs> <laughs> all right cool nice whooping into you i was hoping we didn't miss each other or something right. i know there's so many people that you know we've been 
kind of watching along the way and everything uh -huh. that we're like, okay, so we're, we're kind of spot checking in on YouTube to see approximately <laughs> where they're at so uh -huh. that we can uh, make sure we try and keep an eye out for them because we've crossed paths with people that, like we ran into Lazarus in uh, the Shenandoahs. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. When we were just out doing this action hike okay. and he walked up, we're chatting and he's like, Oh, I have a YouTube channel. I'm like, oh, what's your name? He's like, Lazarus. And I'm like, wait a minute, we follow you. Like, I didn't even recognize you while we're standing here talking no. to you. Yeah. So. Sometimes as you reach the summit, you hope to hear voices because usually there'd be voices from people kind of huddled at the summit area. I don't think I hear anybody yet. Bugs. All right, let's get going. We're almost there. That right there is Mount Garfield. And we camped just on the on this side of it and along there is the ridge we walked from Mount Lafayette I'm not sure exactly which one it is and then Mount Lincoln and Little Haystack Mountain and there's that whole Franconia Ridge it's a beautiful beautiful day up there and uh, we're over here now this is where we are this is how it looks from here pretty far away isn't it what a day I believe the summit's coming up. It's not too far, hopefully. But I don't see anything else higher. That happens a lot though. <laughs> Always nice seeing signposts as you head towards the top of a mountain. Although this one looks like directions to different trails. Ah, there's Pocket Rocket and the guy right over there. Let's head on over. Another summit. walkway up here super muddy up here with the uh, AMC campsite visit we got the little orange card and one of the deals is you get a free free soup so we both got a soup and then we got two more baked goods coming so soup today though we're gonna eat it quickly so we can get out of here. And by the way, it's nice to eat hot stuff on a hot day. <laughs> on our right is big boulder fields. And there's this amazingly soft trail, but on our left, more boulders. So this trail must have had a ton of work done 
for them to get this kind of like finely crushed gravel for us to hike. Thank goodness it's not just gravel or boulder fields here. It would have taken us quite a while to traverse. Could have been that, you know. I guess it's probably good that the huts are up there because it draws more day hikers and this is more their kind of thing. There were a ton of kids at the hut we were just at where we had the best soup we've ever had in our lives. <sighs> Except the complete opposite. <laughs> hey, real bridge. Although it doesn't look structurally like it's the best right here. And it's a good drop down to the water. It's flowing well, but we all know it's not flowing as well as it could be. There's a nice sign. Well, 302, 1.9 miles. It's 4 o'clock right now. Told our friend that we'd be there at 5. So we have 1 hour to go 1.9 miles. We should be able to do it. It's kind of rocky though. It's slowing us down a little bit. But I think we can maintain 2 on this kind of terrain. Just rocky. As you can tell, we are not in the mountains anymore. We met up with our friend Tina and Bob, and we're staying at their place tonight. They picked us up, so we had big old sandwiches for dinner and showered and be sleeping in a bed tonight. We're checking the weather for the next few days because supposedly Monday night, Tuesday is supposed to be like up to 80 mile per hour gusts up at Mount Washington, higher elevation. So uh, Tina and I are going to talk about it in a little bit, but... Uh, we may have to make some drastic drastic plans for tomorrow. We'll see. But uh, for now, thanks for watching. And uh, you all take care and wish us luck these coming days with the weather. And especially right before we're hitting the highest point of the AT in New Hampshire. So uh, we're going to have a lot of work to do there. All right. Thanks. Bye.